how and why to apply for the IFOA Quality Assurance Scheme. This is Anna. She's Head of Actuarial Services at a fast-growing consultancy. Anna's delighted that the consultancy is such a runaway success. But as it grows, she wants to make sure that its quality controls keep up. And she wants the firm to stand out from the rest so it can start winning bigger and better contracts. So she decides to ask her industry contacts for advice. And one of them tells her about a new accreditation offered by the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries and available to its members. Called the Quality Assurance Scheme, or QAS for short, the accreditation shows that an organisation or practice has the policies and processes in place to do high-quality actuarial work. And it confirms that those policies and processes are an integral part of the culture, not just languishing in a dark corner of the internet. It's this cultural angle, together with a focus on actuarial excellence, that makes the QAS different from other accreditations. Anna thinks the QAS sounds great, so she visits the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries website and sees that the scheme has been getting some glowing reviews. After she's dug some more, Anna concludes that having the QAS stamp would reinforce her firm's commitment to high-quality client service, as well as help it to compete for new business and become a more attractive employer. So she downloads an application form. The form looks pretty straightforward, and Anna's only question is around how many pages of evidence she should include to support her application. But a quick read of the relevant section reveals that she can either provide that evidence now, or make it available to the assessors when they come to visit. There's no right or wrong answer, and it's up to each organisation to decide what works best for them. What's more, completing the form is making Anna assess how well her firm is currently doing things, so she's getting value from the process before it's even begun.